Hello everyone and welcome to game one in a series between Liquid Hero versus, I believe it's still TSL Pult, not Pult Prime. Let's get this game underway. Liquid Hero spawning as the blue Protoss player on the bottom right hand side of the map. Here at what I'll call the four or five o'clock position. Meanwhile, Prime or Pult, TSL's Pult spawning as the red Terran. So Terran versus Protoss on Shakura's Plateau. Looking forward to this game. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching it with me. And really just hats off to the number of replays I've been able to find of high level players. I don't even know what event this is from. But I have been enjoying the games very, very much. Now, we'll see what these stra strategies will be. This is Terran versus Protoss on Shokura's Plateau. As we now see a pylon being set up over here. It's semi close to the front door, but really won't be able to block anything. Also, we see a front door being established by Polt. Polt perhaps is going to be doing um, some sort of wall off play. We'll see if he tries to go for a faster expansion and then get up a lot of barracks with Marines or if he tries to go into tech. It really is, it really does feel like Terran can probably dictate the game or the, the pacing of the game just a little bit more based upon their number of openings early harassment versus um, you know just bunkering down getting two to three bunkers and trying to use marines and marauders to de defend while establishing that overall natural expansion here it looks as though it will be a gas coming in from prime or Polt. dang it why do they always change their names like that they're coming in from Polt. so Polt. Um, perhaps we'll be trying to go for um, a little bit of a tech play. Meanwhile, Hero really going for a very, very aggressive, perhaps a 17 Nexus. Now, a 17 Nexus is a very strong economic opening, but it does put you a little bit vulnerable to especially Banshee harassment. Because of the, your delayed gateway, then your followed, followed up delayed Cybernetics Core, followed by your delayed Robotics Facility, you really don't have that much information um, or you really don't have that much time to truly scout out anything as we now see a second Barracks coming in. So interesting, it looks like Polt will be going in for that double barracks build, adding a reactor here, adding on a tech lab here. This one Marine will have to fend off and this build normally works out well because, oh, is it going to work? Is the probe going to see anything inside the base? One more shot will do it. Yes, he does get shot down and all he sees is another building here. He doesn't know if it is a barracks. He doesn't know if it is a factory and that's really going to upset Hero. Hero opting to go for a double gateways, a very nice follow up response here. He knows that he needs to increase his production somehow, gonna get double gateways as an SCV now wanders around on the inside. Also, we are getting into the assimilator. The Cybernex core should be added. It has already been started. He, he perhaps will be able to start double training up stalkers and zealots. Um, one of the two units as Marines are getting added. There is that tech lab as I was mentioning and this aggressive play from Polt should start researching concussive shells with the Marauders. Yes, and then just trying to put down early pressure. We're going to see perhaps four to six Marines and then one Marauder in this group uh, pushing out across the map. You can see that the Marines are still being trained here and how much damage will be dealt. This one Zealot really will not be able to chase as we now see Hero double chrono boosting out Stalkers and I like this play by Hero. Hero knowing that his opponent is being very very aggressive with um, double production units uh, quickly responded with getting double production units of his own. It is going to be two Stalkers though but with only one Marauder in this group We'll see how much damage can really be dealt. The probe is attempting to run away. It will get scouted out. So um, Prime knows that Hero knows that he is coming. And we are going to have two Stalkers and one Zealot up on the high ground. More Marines and Marauders still being added. The front door now does have triple supply depots here. We'll see what's going to be happening as Stalkers, two Stalkers and a Zealot. A six food army on the front door. Meanwhile, we have an SCV also joining in on this fight as the Marine's going to take down the pro before it gets up the ramp. It doesn't know if there's an expansion yet as the SCV gets in a little bit too far. There is going to be one Marauder in this group and now they're going to charge up the ramp. A bunker trying to be established, unable to build that as the Marauder taking a lot of damage and now and pulled in a bit of trouble. A new Marauder going to take its place. The Marauder needs to get off those concussive shell shots in order to really deal damage there. Gonna go after one Stalker, one Zealot has gone down. 
So really nice micro between these players by actually just by hero so far as this game does get underway. Give me one moment. All right, sorry. Real life sometimes takes precedence over casting. But then again, I can pause a replay and then restart it up for you guys. And you guys barely know the difference except for that I'm actually talking about it. All right, let's go ahead and get back into the game. Um, Polt currently setting up his own command center now. Hero has had his own command center. He's been doing very well defending against what would be normally a very aggressive play. Pulled now with the with the double barracks, one with the reactor, and now getting stim. The timing on this, if he attacks prematurely, this may be really bad here as the Marines are able to get off a really easy shot there. One Zealot does go down, the sentry is going to go down, and Hero is in trouble. Marines and Marauders have now made it inside the base. Perhaps they're going to take down the pylon, perhaps slow down the reinforcements, and that is going to be the case. The reinforcements are now going to have to warp in from the back or come down the top of the ramp. That is not good. It's a very, very small positioning here. The probes are all trying to stay very close together. Robotics facility now coming in. And this is looking to be a very, very nice play by Polt. More reinforcements still coming. And down goes the Nexus. So any advantage that Hero had has now been quickly nullified as probes are now getting destroyed. So a, a couple probes do get taken down there. And now we see an engagement of stalkers and sentries. I believe Hero will have to give the GG. This is just not looking good whatsoever. Perhaps some force fields on the ramp will be able to delay this. But the Harvester count, 33 to 25. But that 33 means he's oversaturated in his main base. There's the force field. One pylon up on the high ground. But the Marauders, oh, we need to see some stalkers. Are we going to perhaps get another force field down? No, another force field perhaps did go down. Yes, another force field was down just in time. And now the Marauders and the Marines can't really see what's going on up on that high ground yet. And this is going to still be dangerous. Are we going to get another force field? Yes, splitting up the units. But now Sight is back up on the high ground. Perhaps if Hero had placed down another force field first, that would have been a little bit better. The sentries are all getting cleaned up. One new sentry now coming in. Ooh, and the force field would have split that task again or split that army again. There you go. There's another split there. But Hero doing a great job moving over to the side. These Marauders and Marines need to get in position over here to actually join in on the fight. This is not looking good. The Marines, however, stutter stepping, able to deal some damage back towards the Stalker. More Stalkers now warping in. Triple Stalkers with that six range should be able to push off this attack. And how much damage can be dealt? Um, the Marauder does spot a Warp Prism as it goes by, and that is going to be huge. The Marauder is perhaps overstimming there, and now Hero needs to do a very, very strong counterattack. He is going to Warp in it one more Zealot and leave a Sentry behind. Um, no, he's going to keep... keep, keep the keep the sentry pick up the sentry and now um Polt needs to be on the defensive we are going into double medevax marines and marauders already making their way across but if hero uses a round of warp in here that's going to be very very um very very bad plays the marines and the marauders may be able to take down the warp prism that is no good hero loses his warp prism with four units a 10 food total loss and prime now catapulting about almost wait, now currently 20 food ahead of his opponent that is looking very strong here two medevacs marauders and marines combat shield about to be completed level one weapons upgrade halfway there and now here we go fry or pulse um, tsl's pulse now looking to finish the job that he started not too long ago zealots are unable to charge down the ramp stalkers are going to be able to start shooting down that factory, but that factory revealing sight up onto the high ground, making it very difficult for Hero to um, for difficult for Hero to actually utilize this high ground well. Just a narrow choke point here. The Marauders and the Marines still pushing up. The Zealots now stutter stepping again against all of those Marauders and Marines. Hero should have the home field advantage, continuing to get in more reinforcements, but Holt doing a great job. Just staying alive now. One Zealot getting quickly taken down there. Um, Polt doing a great job macroing up still off of these bases. His Harvester count is at 40. Much, much stronger. All of these Marauders and Marines will get finished off. But Hero once again in trouble as he is seeing that 34 probes and 5 Stalkers. And that is it. And he's still trying to establish his second base. Polt... Um, continuing this pressure, opting to not want, not allow this game to go long. He doesn't want to give Hero the opportunity 
to truly get back into the swing of things. If he is able to establish up his base, perhaps get Psy Storm or Colossi, it would delay Pult's attack. And then Hero, who still has a decent number of Harvesters, 33, could perhaps Chrono Boost and get back in. Medevac going to get taken down pretty quickly. Stalker's going to get in some easy shots. One Medevac does get destroyed. Zealots going after the Marauders and the Marines. And the Marauders and Marines are still stutter stepping, taking down multiple units again. The Medevac's now trying to heal, but Hero doing a great job and now really doing some great exchanges. Another, another Medevac gets destroyed, and I believe... Um, Polt is now starting to lose a little bit more, but in comes a new round of units, and really, Polt gonna be pushing back again. You can see five barracks up and running, a reactor on one of those barracks just constantly training up more and more marines. The Marauders doing a great job so far. Finishing off more units, the Nexus completes just in time, only to be destroyed once more by Polt. With three medevacs in the air, this army will pretty much, um, pretty much be able to handle anything that hero can uh, come off at. We can see more probes trying to join in on the fight. The probes need to get in in front of those stalkers to try to absorb some of the damage. The stalkers, however, were getting focused down by the marauders. Four marauders against two stalkers and two zealots with range. Marines there as well. Medevacs doing a great job. There's more stutter stepping still as the probe stalkers. And Hero will have to say GG. Polt now more than triple his opponent's food. And Polt just doing a great job utilizing small groups of units in order to maximize the damage. Zealot's now getting destroyed here. And I think this all stemmed from Hero pretty much very, very delayed. In or very much delaying his own gateways. If he had gotten stalkers, gotten sentries, perhaps not tried to be as greedy in terms of an expansion, he would have been in a much better position. Polt now getting up some Vikings, with one with two more on the way. Marauders and Marines are upgraded 1-1, one, one, and there's the GG by Hero. So, Hero losing game one here on Shakura's Plateau. And just really, really well played by Polt, opening up with the single barracks and training up a marine, delaying that supply depot, getting a reactor, and building up another barracks as well. And it normally doesn't work well against, say, a very aggressive Protoss who tries to um, poke in with that early Zealot Stalker, but against a fast expanding um, Protoss that we saw from Hero, it did delay things significantly. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game one in this series.